Hey, this is Dr. Nick for the ECG Academy, and we're working on Section 4, and this is Chapter 1 having to do with ECG recording systems. How do we get that ECG on paper, and how do we get it to look its best? Electrodes have to be hooked up properly, and we're going to talk about the basics of electrode placement in this video. And what I did here is put together a little collage of different kinds of ECG machines. Well, some of the ECG machines you'll find in rolling carts that you'll see in a hospital. Here's another example of a rolling cart type of ECG machine. Some of them are smaller, little desktop models that you might find in a doctor's office. The desktop units come really small with a nice narrow strip that you can mount in a chart or this kind of fancy one that'll give you a, a large thermal printout of the 12 lead ECG. And you got really tiny ones here with just a a liquid crystal display. These others are ones you'll find in a hospital, like uh, for example in a coronary care unit. Most of them have um, pressure waveforms on the screen as well. And here's an old-fashioned one with an old CRT type display. But no matter what ECG machine you use, they basically are all doing the same thing, recording the electrical signals from the patient's skin. These are the electrical signals that the heart produces and getting into interpreting them uh, first, we want to see how, the, how they get on paper. So this is a kind of an ECG cable. Now, uh, what I'll do is show you some other cables that um, these are different uh, ways of acquiring the ECG. You can see um, they are applied to the chest. Now, this is the old-fashioned kind. Um, these are like little suction cups. We used to use paste, which is a kind of a white cream that had a very low electrical resistance so that we'd be able to pick up the electrical signal easily. Um, these were the, a, a kind of a clamp that went on the patient's uh, wrists and ankles, and, uh, and these suction cups would go on the chest for the precordial leads. Now, uh, nowadays we have these stick-on electrodes, which are very simple and easy to use in a coronary care unit where the patient is going to be hooked up for a while. But if you're doing just a 12-lead ECG on paper, these disposable electrodes are really handy because you just stick them on the skin and then you use a sort of a clip-on uh, wire to attach each one. And we're going to show you in the next video exactly where these precordial leads go. But just to show you that different ECG systems, um, here's one that you might find in a, in a coronary care unit or an, an emergency room with just three electrodes. That only gives you a limited number of electrical views. Here's one with five electrodes, a little bit better. And, and then here's a full-blown 10-electrode system, which would be used to uh, acquire a 12-lead electrocardiogram. How do they get attached? Well, you have to think about the person, the person that you are recording. And let's just say you're facing this person here, and uh, uh, that person has, um, uh, you know, a uh, kind of smile on his face because you're going to help him out uh, by doing his ECG. So this is a good discussion for not only uh, ECG technicians but nurses. Uh, how do we know where to put the ECG electrodes and, and which color goes where? Well, it's really important to remember this. Uh, white, black, green, red. Okay, well, how do you remember it? I always, I always like to think of it this way. Imagine the person is sitting behind the wheel of a car. Okay? Now, when he's sitting behind the wheel of a car, his right foot is going to be over the accelerator pedal. And think green go, right? That's accelerator goes on the right leg. Now, his left foot will be over the brake pedal. So red makes sense, doesn't it? You'd want to put the red electrode on the left leg. Now, if he's driving a car in the United States, at least, the steering wheel um, uh, is on this side of the car. And so his left arm is going to be sticking out the, the window and it's going to get suntanned. Aha! That's how you remember that the black goes on the left arm. And then, of course, the white one goes on the right arm because this arm will not be suntanned. So that's a real quick, easy way to remember what leads go on what limb. And, of course, this is useful in the coronary care unit, but also in the ECG machines. They'll generally be color-coded white, black, green, and red. Some of the old-fashioned systems may use yellow for the right arm. Uh, but anyway, in the next video, we're going to talk about the, uh, the chest leads and where do those electrodes go exactly, uh, because that's really important. If you don't put them on in the right spot, 
the ECG won't look right. So see you in the next video, and thanks for watching the ECG Academy.